Hello, let's solve this question on income tax. The question reads, James earning zero as follows, basic salary 38,000 per month, house allowance 14,000 per month, traveling allowance 8,500 per month, medical allowance 3,300 per month. The table for the taxable income is shown below. So it is very important to note that this table is given in income in Kenyan pound per annum. The tax is in Kenyan shillings per pound. That is very important. Then look at all the bands and check, don't assume, uh, check whether the bands are uniform. Like when I see oh, there they are, when I look at them, 1 to 6,000, 6,001 to 12,000, I can see they are uniform, size of 6,000 each. So let's go to the questions. So the first question, a. Calculate James taxable income per annum. Then B. James pay, pay as you earn if he's entitled to a tax relief of 18,000 shillings per annum. The other part C. James is also deducted the following per month. NHIF 320, pension scheme 1,000, cooperative shares 2,000, loan repayment 5,000, interest on loan 501. Calculate James total deduction per month in Kenya shilling. Then the second part, calculate his net salary per month. Those are the questions. So let's go to the first part where you're supposed to calculate the taxable income per annum. Taxable income per annum. Note the taxable income is also referred to as the gross income so to get the gross income or the taxable income we take the basic salary then we add all the allowances all the taxable allowances in this question we have uh, the basic salary is uh, 38,000 then house allowance 14,000 traveling allowance 8,500 medical allowance 3,300 so we just need to add so basic salary plus all those three allowances so let us do that. So we have a basic salary, which is uh, 38,000 plus all the allowances. We have uh, 14,000. And then you have another allowance that is uh, 85 plus we have another one that 300. So just to confirm those allowances. So 14,000, 8,500, then that 300. So that is okay. Now notice that this one is per month. They are all given, these allowances are per month. They're given per month. Even basic salary is per month. But we're required to give this one per annum. So you know what you're supposed to do. And um, since when you look at the taxable, this table of taxation, you notice that it is in Kenyan pound. So there's no way you will leave the taxable income or the gross income in Kenyan shillings. You have to convert it to Kenyan pound for you to be able to tax using this taxation table. So let me add, when you add all these, that it thousand plus 14,000 plus 85 plus 33, you will get uh, 63,800, 63,800. And this one is per month. So to convert this one, this income to annual income, that is per annum, we're going to multiply it by 12, 12 months in one year. So that's 63,800. Convert it from monthly to annual, that is per annum, multiplied by 12. Then to convert it to Kenyan pound, we divide this one by 20. Remember that one Kenyan pound is equivalent to 20 Kenyan shillings. So to convert Kenyan shillings to Kenyan pound, you simply need to divide by 20. So when you work out this, you'll get... Uh, the answer in Kenyan pound and this will give 38,280 38,280 so that is the income in Kenyan pound now we have calculated the taxable income and we've given it in Kenyan pound that is how we're supposed to do it now let's go to the other part it's very important now this part is uh, the pay the tax the net tax pay as you earn if he's entitled to uh, is entitled to a tax relief of 18,000 per annum. So already we have the amount that we are supposed to tax and the amount is here. This is the amount 
the 2,280 it is in Kenyan pound because the table of taxation is in Kenyan pound then there is a relief so we're going to go through this taxation in each band so we're going to start with the first band uh, the first band is one to six thousand the size of that band in kenyan pound is six thousand the first band so we have six thousand so six thousand then i want you to notice that uh to get the tax we have tax in kenyan shilling per pound so for every kenyan pound there's a tax of Kenyan shillings too, two Kenyan shillings. So what about for this uh, income that is here? Uh, in this band, the first band, the income to be taxed is 6,000 Kenyan pound. So for every Kenyan pound, there's a tax of two shillings. So to get the taxation, we are going to multiply. What about 6,000 Kenyan pound? You just multiply it by two. So to tax this, you just need to multiply by two. That is, that is very important to note that. So we multiply by two. So we shall take uh, 6,000, we multiply by 2, and uh, the moment you tax it, you get the answer in Kenyan shilling. It is very important to understand that taxation, that for every 1 Kenyan pound, there is a tax of 2 shillings. So what about 6,000? There will be 6,000 Kenyan pound, there will be a tax of, and this one you get it in Kenyan shillings, you get uh, 12,000. So we go to the second band and the second band we have uh, 6001 to 12000 so the size there is uh, 6000 again because you just get 12000 minus 6000 so the size is uh, 6000 then there it is 3 shillings so remember we are taxing that 8280 so far we've taxed just 6000 so the next one will be 6000 the size of the other band then the rate is 3 shillings so you get the tax as uh, 18 shillings. We go to the next band. The next band is 12,000 to the size is the same, 6,000. The rate is 4. So the next band we have uh, 6,000. The rate is 4. And this one will give uh, 24,000. So the next band, the next band is uh, 18,000 to 24. The same, the size is 6,000. The rate is 5. So 6,000, the rate is 5. So this one will give 30,000 Kenyan shillings. So, so far, we've taxed the 6,000 times 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. That is 24,000. We are yet to go. We have that 8,000 to tax. So, so far, we've taxed the 1, 2, 3, 4, 24,000. So we have to go to the next band. Uh, the next band is uh, 24 to 30, same. You can see the other bands are uniform, 6,000 size. So the rate is 6. So the rate is 6. So when you multiply these, you get uh, 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times 6, that is 30,000. We still very far. We can go next band because we need 38. So the next band is uh, here. 30 to 36, size is the same. Rate is 7. So 6,000 to 7. This one will give uh, 42,000. Now we can stop. Because uh, we need to see what we have already taxed. So these bands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've taxed 36,000 Kenyan pound. And we have a total of 38. So if we go to the next band, we're going to exceed. So let's uh, subtract and see what is remaining. So we have a tax of um, taxable income of 38,280. So far we've taxed uh, 36,000. So we remain with 2280. So that is what should come in this band. 2280 is what you're meaning to get and that one will go to the next band after seven the rate in that band so that amount will fall here and uh, the rate is uh, eight shillings so the rate is eight shillings so when you multiply this we get uh let me multiply this 2280 times 8 18 to 40 we get 18 to 40 so that is all We've taxed everything now. When you add 6,000 plus 6,000, everything there will give you that 8,280. Now let's add and get now what we call the gross tax. The gross tax or what we call the tax due. So adding everything here. 
uh, we get the tax due so adding everything there using a calculator you will get uh, 12000 plus 18000 plus 24 plus 30 plus 36 plus 42 plus 18 to 40 you get so adding everything 12000 plus 18000 plus 24 plus 30000 plus 36 plus 42 plus 18 to 40 you get 180240 180240 and this one is in Kenyan shillings per annum per annum remember pay is given per month per month uh, so we have to convert that uh, but before we convert there is something for us to get uh, the net tax there is this relief that you have to subtract tax relief after getting the gross tax we less relief and relief is given per annum so we just subtract direct yeah uh, when you subtract you get uh, this one is now the net tax per annum which will give you 162 to 40 but this is what you get 162 to 40 now this is uh, still per annum now to get the net tax per month uh, because the uh, pay as i've said i'm emphasizing this pay as you earn a uh, pay is calculated per per month so you need to calculate this one per month so to get this one per month because this one is the net tax per annum we simply need to divide this one by 12 and when you divide this one by 12 you get the net tax per month as net tax per month as uh, divide this one by 12 get 13,520 13,520 13,520 so that is the payee that is all about that part we go to part C James is also deducted the following per month NHIF, pension scheme, cooperative all the deductions are there calculate the, uh, the total deductions are for James per month per month in Kenyan shillings so we just need to add this one is quite easy the first deduction already is the net tax which is the payee 13,520 don't forget that 13,520 that is the net tax then you add all these deductions 320 for NHIF pension we have 1,000 of cooperative shares which is 2,000 we have loan repayment which is a 5,000 we have uh, interest on loan that is a 500 uh, those are the only deductions that we have we don't have any other deduction and when you add this one you get a total of uh, 22,340 22,340 those are the total deductions per month then the other question is the net Simple. salary Simple. Simple. the net salary the net salary per month net pay per month now to get the net pay we simply need to get the gross income gross income or what we call the taxable income minus all the deductions all the deductions that is how we get the net pay that is how we get the net pay or the net salary so let's go to the first part and uh, we're supposed to get this one per month so we need to go to the first part that is where we got uh, so we have uh, the taxable income the taxable income in the first part and remember let me see supposed to give this on net salary per month now in this question uh not been we see net salary net salary so this one net salary we give it per month so that is why i'm checking these so we have the taxable income per annum we got the taxable income per annum as uh 63 800 per month 63 800 per month it is here per month because when you're giving the net salary you have to give it per month so taxable income or the gross income was 63,800 63,800 so 63,800 then uh we have all the but this one this one was in kenya shillings yes it was in kenya shillings i is important to note that and then we need to subtract all the deductions all the deductions and all the deductions are here per month you have 22,000 340 22,340 so that is how we get the net pay gross income and uh, since we want to give this one in um, it is not specific whether it is in kenyan pound um, or kenyan shillings so we're using the kenyan shillings so we take the taxable income in kenyan shilling that is uh, we, we can do both 
we can do both uh, we can do both so i'll start with the kenyan shilling uh, so the question was not specific whether you use the, the net salary in uh, kenyan pound i'm using the kenyan shillings so 63800 kenyan shillings subtract all the deduction kenyan shillings this one will give um, 63 you know, 22 340 41 for 60 41 for 60 so you get 41 for 60 as the net salary so if you were to give this one per um, pound per kenyan pound you simply work it um, as follows so you will get the gross income in kenyan pound uh, which is uh, or first you work in, in kenyan shillings then you convert it eh? you just need to convert it so to convert 41,460 to kenyan pound you simply need to divide it by by 20 so you just need to take this one so in kenyan pound you'll get 41 460 then you divide it by by 20 when you divide it by 20 you'll get um, 41 460 divided by 20 you get 2073 2073 kenyan pound so this is the income in kenyan pound per month and this is in kenyan shillings per month so that is how you're supposed to solve that question